realize that we haven't had our Friday night dinner for three weeks? You've been in D.C. Yeah, you think I couldn't get an earlier flight? Most of the other congressmen are gone on Thursday night. Okay, I, I don't get it. So why have you been skipping dinner? Because I don't want you to go. Everybody warned me that when you were eight and you were bugging the crap out of me, that one day I'd be begging for you to wake me up at 4 a.m. with a nightmare or, you know, wreck the kitchen, play in a restaurant. I was nine. Now you don't get it yet. Yes, you and I will always love each other, and you and I will always be there for each other, but, you know, as soon as you walk out our door towards New York, everything's going to change. Listen, I am so happy for you, Kurt. Really, I am so happy and I am so proud. You know, you and me, we, uh, we made each other men. Just sometimes I just, I want my sweet little boy back. I'm going to miss you, Kurt. A lot. I'm going to miss you too, Dad. Dad, why on earth did you want to meet me in here? Sit down. I want to give you your graduation present. Is Elaine Stritch here? I don't know who that is. So, somewhere around your seventh birthday, I lost you. And then you turned seven or eight, and you start to become this and uh, it was like I was living with an alien I mean I, t I tried to keep up you did good dad I am proud of what you and I did together I'm proud of us too do you remember when it started tell me oh screw that I'm gonna show you it was in the uh, basement of our old house you were wearing a unitard oh god dad please don't do this sit down and accept your present Hit it! All right, as soon as you find a place to live, I'll ship you the rest of your stuff. And you got enough cash from selling your car to get you through at least two weeks in a motel. And the emergency credit card, which is only for what? Emergencies. Dad, this is silly. I don't have to be in New York to reapply for Niata. So I can find a job that pays me the same amount as a lima bean, but pay ten times more in rent? Yeah, because it's an adventure. Look, all great artists need a little struggle in their lives. Didn't you tell me that Julia Roberts sold shoes in New York before she made it? Good enough for pretty woman, good enough for Kurt Hummel. You scared? Terrified. New York is gonna be a breeze compared to Lima. Think about all the crap you've been putting up with the last couple of years. You know the difference between this place and New York? Decent bagels. New York is filled with people like you. People aren't afraid to be different. You're gonna feel at home there. If you're not scared, it just means you're not sticking out your neck far enough. You truly are the world's greatest dad. I know. It's written on the coffee mug you got me for Father's Day. Now get out of here. You're going to miss your flight. I'm going to miss you, Dad. You can always come back. You won't. I love you. I love you too, Kurt. I 
never thought I'd see this day. <laughs> I was walking down the streets of New York right after seeing a live Broadway musical. Well, the Rockettes might have better legs than me, but they can't touch my single ladies' performance. <laughs> that was the best musical I've ever seen. So, who's winning? Celtics. Okay, I tried. Oh! 20 oh. seconds. <laughs> Pay up, Anderson. You may have dated him, but I raised him. I know my son. Look, I uh, know we usually take the highway to the airport, but somebody told me about this shortcut through the back roads. Dad, even stop it. I know you're driving me to my surprise proposal. <laughs> I should have known you knew. You're the kid who planned his own surprise party for his 10th birthday. Bad Justin Timberlake Pinata was a perfect likeness. Uh, I wouldn't know. You okay? You look like I'm driving you to your execution. I can't tell. I mean, I really love playing. He makes me feel so connected and safe and loved. I don't think I'm ever going to find someone else who's going to make me feel like that. But we're both so young. Your mom and I met when we were 22. And I asked her to marry me six months in. We were just kids. Yeah. It was really hard at first. You know, you go in with all these fantasies about what your life together is going to be like. Nothing but laughing and dancing around in your underwear, cooking pasta, sex. A lot of sex. It's hard being married, though. It's hard enough being in your 20s. Do you wish you'd waited? Not one second more. I wish I'd met her 10 years earlier. I didn't know then that I was only gonna get so much time with her, you know? She was gonna leave us so soon. I'd take 50 more years of late night fights about, you know, me working late or the gas bill or her letting the milk go bad for just 10 more minutes with her next to me. We only get a few days when you come down to it, Kurt. You know that better than anyone. Look, totally being honest here, Blaine asked me what I thought about this, and I gave him my opinion. Which was? My opinion doesn't matter here. You're your own man now. But giving you a choice means you gotta make one. So relax, hear what the guy has to say. I mean, all you gotta do is say yes, no, or maybe. Is there another option? <laughs> Should've hugged him more, you know? No, I was always, We'd fist bump or we'd high five, but should have given him more hugs. You know, the last time I saw him, he was so bummed out about some test at school, and I just, you know, told him to get back at it. You know, he was worth it. This is the perfect time for a hug. But for whatever reason, I just. I gave him a pat on the back. And that's that. Now he's gone. Kurt, what were you thinking? What do you think you are? Die Hard or Charles Bronson or something? Those guys could have had a gun. You could have called the cops. You could have gotten help. Now look, I'm proud of what you did, but come on, man. Use your head. And what are you saying about that other gay kid that you saved that night? He's, he isn't brave? He's not as strong as you. I don't know what his story is. I only know what mine is. I can't believe that this happened here. Am I an idiot? Because I thought you'd be safe here, safer? Look at your beautiful face. I'm not upset about it, actually. Now I know who I am, without a doubt. The Braveheart? Your son. The man you raised. I'm glad you're okay. Just don't do it again. Unless I'm right next to you. We'll take them together. Thank you guys. Santana, Britt, Blaine, Kurt. I want to thank you guys for being so brave and so honest and for standing up here and showing all of us that love and marriage is so much bigger 
than we thought it could be. And also so much simpler. Love and marriage is when two people say to one another, I love you because I love you, and I know this is going to be one heck of a ride, but I don't want to do it unless I can do it with you. And now by the power vested in me by the internet and the state of Indiana and under a God who for sure, if he believes in love, then he fully endorses the loving marriages of these two wonderful couples. I now pronounce you wife and wife and husband and husband, you may kiss one another. <laughs>